Hello, kindergartners. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you for wondering. Well, today you are here with me to practice some math skills. In the last two weeks, we have been working with addition and subtraction problems. We have also worked with composing and decomposing the teen numbers. Just to review, our teen numbers are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. With that, I'm going to show you the book we are going to work with today. This book is called 12 Ways to Get to 11. 11 is one of our team numbers. But before we get there, we are going to review some concepts that are important for us to know. And they are the parts of a book. In kindergarten, we need to know the parts of a book, especially the external parts of the book. Right here, you will notice the title. The title is the name of the book. In this book, the title is 12 Ways to Get to 11. We also have the author and the illustrator. The author is the person who writes the words in a text. The illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in a text. All of this information could be found on the front cover. This is the front cover of the book. And this is the back cover of the book. This part right here on the side that holds all the pages, the front cover and the back cover together, it is called the spine. We make connection with this part because we also have our spine, our spine. So if you put your hand behind your back, you can feel your spine all the way from top to bottom. You could feel it. And the spine holds all of our bones together. So if you make that connection, it will help you remember what this part of the book is called. The spine holds all the pages, the front cover and the back cover together. Now, books also have some internal, meaning inside parts, that we are not going to cover today except for one. And that is a page that has a very important role. It is the title page right in here. This is the title page, and we call it the title page because we could find all of the information, including the title, that we find on the front cover. Front cover has the title, the author, and the illustrator. The title page has the title, the author, and the illustrator. So kindergartners, are you ready? 12 ways to get to 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 10, 12. What? What happened to 11? Is it in the magician's hat? Maybe it's in the mailbox or hiding in the jack-o'-lantern? Don't forget to look in the barnyard where the hen awaits the arrival of her new little chicks. Could that be where 11 went? Who knows? Let's read and find out. 12 Ways to Get to 11, written by Eve Miriam, illustrated by Bernie. Bernie Carlin. Twelve ways to get to eleven. Twelve ways to get to eleven. 
written by Eve Miriam, illustrated by Bernie Carlin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> what is eleven? Twelve. Let's read together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where is eleven? Twelve. We need to keep on reading to find out. Pick up nine pine cones from the forest floor and two acorns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is one of the parts. Two acorns, that is the other part. When we add the two parts together, we find the whole, the total amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine plus two is eleven. Nine plus two is the same as eleven. Eleven is the same as nine plus two. At the circus, six peanut shells and five pieces of popcorn. I got my two parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of the parts. One, two, three, four, five. The other part. When I combine these two parts together, I get the total amount. I find the whole. And in this case, is 11. Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. And notice, my friends, that in this one, I created a part, part, whole graphic organizer or bar model just to show you what it could be fun to do instead of doing just the circles as uh, we normally do in um, for number buns. I'm sorry, flipping through the pages. Here is our regular, our traditional number bun. You could also use the par par whole bar model and be creative with it. In this page, since they're talking about the circus, I created mine like a little circus tent. Out of the magician's hat, four banners, five rabbits, a pitcher of water, and a bouquet of flowers. So here I did my par par whole model in the shape of a magician's hat. And notice how I wrote all the information. Four and one is five. Five and one is six. Now I add those two parts. Five plus six is the same as 11. And now you get to count all those objects. Look at all the four flags, one or banners. One, two, three, four. Five bunnies, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With the picture and the flowers. Now, we could touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Go past four corners and two traffic lights, then past the house with two chimneys and the garage with two cars. And a bicycle. Now look, you are at 11th Street. And here we are not going to do any mathematical operation. Here 
we are just telling you that some streets are named or called the 11th street. That's another way to get to 11. And here the author kind of guides you on how to get there. Now take a look at this page. In this page, we have different information. Since we have different information, I decided to use circles to help us add them all together. Six bytes, a core, a stem, and three apple seeds. I drew the circles for all of that information and then I add them all together. What did I get? You got it, 11. Now we could count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six plus one is seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus three is eleven. In this one, I follow the same information. The same way of counting all the objects they're listing. On the boat are two masts, a big and a little sail, four life preservers, a flag, a ladder, and an anchor. Two masts, two sail, four life preservers, the anchor, the flag, and the ladder. All of that together, what does that make? Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Between all of them, we have 11 items. Three turtles sleeping, two frogs swimming, one lily pad and five dragonflies darting on top of the pond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, eleven things on this page. And here I show that to you using the ten frame. We have 10 inside the frame and one extra one. We already know that 11 is one group of 10 and one extra one. 10 plus one is 11. 10 add one is the same as 11. In this one, I also use the 10 frames. The jack-o'-lantern has a cut-out nose and eyes and four teeth on the top row and four teeth on the bottom. If we count all of that, what do we get? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four teeth at the top, four teeth at the bottom. Four plus four is eight. Plus two eyes, that's ten. One nose, eleven. Look at this one. I made a picture like a mailbox. 
for my par par whole model. In the mailbox, seven letters, two packages, a mail order catalog, and a picture postcard. How many all together? Seven plus two is nine. One plus one is two. And nine plus two is 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing one, I don't see it all. In the mailbox, seven letters, okay. Oh, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven letters and two packages. They're right here, one and two. A catalog right here and the picture postcard right here. Now I counted carefully and I counted 11. Do you see all of it? Three sets of triplets in baby carriages and a pair of twins in the stroller. Here, I just did different kinds of equations. I started with three, one, two, three, and then I added three more, one, two, three. So I went three plus three is the same as six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that I have six, I wrote my six and I added this three plus three, and I got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now that I have nine on this page, I wrote my new equation, nine plus two more. And the answer is 11. Oh, take a look at this one. I love this page. It reminds me, of when we read the story of the three little pigs. I just made a text to text connection. Here there are pigs and we read multiple stories about the three little pigs. A sow, that's the mama pig, and 10 baby piglets. If we have the mama pig and 10 piglets, how many all together? 11, and I also put it on a 10 frame to show you. The 10 piglets are inside the 10 frame, and the mama sow is outside the 10 frame. 10 plus one is 11. 11 is the same as 10 plus one. Oh, I'm just having a lot of connections with this one book. Take a look at that one. Are you making a connection too? This one makes me think, reminds me of the story of the little red hen that we read also in the last few weeks. And notice in this one, I use my par par hole model shaped like an egg. So boys and girls remember, when you're doing math, you could look at the theme that you're working with and you could create your problems um, or your graphic organizers um, to solve these problems in whatever shape you like. So this one is shaped like an egg. And it says in the hen yard, five eggs, three cracking open, two beaks poking out and one just hashed. What I did here, I put the five that have not cracked yet, one, two, three, four, five. I put it on one of the parts. And then I counted the other ones that cracked. One, two, three, four, five. That was five more. I put it on the other part, but then this one hashed. So I added to one of the parts. Five plus one is the same as six. And now I add the two parts. Five and six is 11. Now we could count all the eggs and double check. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got it. Eleven. And now 
They all hashed. You could count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you want to practice counting to eleven in Spanish? You already know how to do that. Let's do it. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once. And now for everybody, let's count backwards from 11. Are you ready? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the end. And at the end of this page, I have put for you the family of 11. How can we make 11? I compiled them all into one page. I started with zero. Zero plus 11 is the same as 11. One plus 10 is the same as 11. Two plus nine is the same as 11. Three plus eight is the same as 11. Four plus seven is the same as 11. And I was five plus six, the same as 11. Six plus five, also 11. Seven plus four, 11. Eight plus three, 11. Nine plus two, 11. 10 plus one is 11. 11 plus zero is 11. Notice what I did here. As I was adding, I started counting from zero and I went zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on the other at the ends, the other numbers that I was adding to these ones, I started from the bottom up and I also went zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's how I completed the whole family and how I got 11 all the way. There, so you could see it. So kindergartners, before I let you go, I have to remind you, remember, today and every day, Whenever you're trying to solve addition and subtraction problem, think of all the ways that we have already learned that we could solve those math problems. And you make sure you use the ones that work best for you. For some mathematicians, counting in their heads, mental math, works best. For some mathematicians, using their fingers, work best. For some mathematicians, doing the 10 frame model works perfect. You could always draw pictures. Look, in this story, there were tons of pictures everywhere. To get to a number, you could always draw your pictures. You could also use the par par whole model. You could also use number bonds. All of those are different ways of solving math problems. So to compose or decompose, remember, if it is addition, you will be adding, you will be joining the parts to find the whole amount. And if you are given the amount and one of the parts, that means you need to subtract to find the other part. Oh my God, whew. Thank you, brain. And thank you, kindergarteners, for watching. I'll see you next time with another math story. Continue to practice, adding, 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 putting together, subtracting, 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 taking away. And exactly, we're not really taking away, we're just subtracting from that amount. But I know a lot of you have heard that. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.